The post-practice water break is presented by Crown Royal. Stay hydrated, stay royal, please drink responsibly. J.P. Shadrick with Jaguars tight end Chris Manhurts. And here we go, Chris, into week nine. Now, coming off a, a tough performance last week in Seattle, getting back on the practice field this week, facing off against a really good Buffalo Bills team coming up. What's been the mood in the locker room on the practice field so far? Uh, to be honest with you, the mood's been, you know, regardless of, of the loss and what transpired la- last week, the, the the mood is pretty good. You know, everybody was upbeat today, um, just getting ready to, to prepare for these bills and, and, and attack this practice week. That's the thing. You can't really, you know, focus on a poor performance or whatever happened. It's on to the next because the next, the next game in the NFL is coming up on the schedule no matter what happened the week before. Exactly. There's zero time to, to dwell on what happened. You know, this is a, a week-to-week business, and uh, before you know it, uh, the season's over. So we just have to, we just have to boggle down and, and, and really focus on the task at hand. How has your, how has your season gone personally? How would you grade yourself so far in week, week nine? Uh, I'd probably give myself a, a B, B minus. Um, honestly, I, I have very high expectations for myself and, and, and uh, how I play and, and, and what I bring to the table. So, um, I, you know, that, that's just coming from the standards that I have for myself personally. Trevor Lawrence, got to ask you about the rookie quarterback so far. He's had some flashes of brilliance, obviously, and it, it, it's a feeling when he opens his mouth at a press conference, it's, you know, I love hearing this guy talk about football. It's got to be the same idea, I'm guessing, in the locker room, meeting rooms, and everything else. Right. And um, from day one, ever since he got here, he's, he's slowly but surely earning more and more respect as the week goes by amongst us, amongst his peers. So um, that's all you could ask for, um, just progress from a week-to-week basis from him, commanding the huddle, um, getting completions, and, and making the right play when, when your number's called. There's got to be still a belief that this thing can turn in 2021 in the locker room. Hasn't gone well, wins and losses, we know all that. But as we said, there's a lot of football left ahead of this team, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And um, like I said, the mentality in the locker room is – is 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 just great you know it's, it's just a g- great group of leaders within that locker room that allows us to, to to just press forward you know not dwell too much on on the past and what transpired and and get into all that but attack every week as if as if it's it's the most important week and that that always has been our approach the Bills defense is among the leaders in most any metric you want to throw out there total defense they have the most takeaways in the NFL what makes them so good on defense? Uh, well, I, I know uh, their head coach personally from my time in Charlotte when uh, with the Panthers when he was a defensive coordinator. And I know that they're a very well-coached team uh, from top to bottom. And uh, I, obviously it permeates uh, within the, the, the defense and everything like that based on what we're seeing in film. So um, I do know that for sure, that they're a very well-coached team. They play hard. Um, they're physical. Um, the D-line has a great motor. So we have our work cut out for us, but we're excited and ready for the challenge. It's amazing how small this league is, right? A connection you had in Carolinas, in Buffalo, it just kind of rotates. You could, have, you could have something like that almost every week in the NFL, it feels like. It's like a carousel, pretty much. <laughs> right. Once you're in, you're in, and it just kind of right. rotates around. Speaking of, you're facing off against a franchise that you started with in the National Football League. You spent an offseason, had a tryout with the Bills way back in the old days, do, you know, when you see them on the schedule, does that do anything for you, or is that you know water under the bridge now? For me, at this point, it's, it's water under the bridge. But I, I'll never forget uh, them as a team that gave me my first opportunity. Um, I spent five years of my life in Buffalo. I went to college in Buffalo, so there's a still a, a, a tight knit community over there of people that that support me and and, and has been following my career. So um, I'm just grateful for that. Are you ready for Canisius Golden Griffin season yet, or what? No, I've been counting it down. Have you? <laughs> I, not, I can't say I have. I must be honest with you, but I'm sure as an alum, you're fired up for hoop season. Right? Oh, for sure. For sure. Right around the corner. So, stretch run coming up. Hey, big ball game. Got to have fan support this week coming home against the Buffalo Bills. I know there's a lot of Jaguars fans that are, you know, the same thing, going through it week to week with this team. What do you say to those guys and, and gals that are coming out this week to support the Jags? Well, one, I'll say thank you for – the, the continued support and, and two um, just like us and, and our mentality we understand that this is a process and uh, being process oriented we have to understand that there's going to be ups and flows ups and downs um, throughout the course of getting to where we need to get so um, just just patience and, and appreciation for the support.
Hey, thanks for the time. Really appreciate you joining us today, Chris. Good luck to you. Appreciate you.